You do. <laughs> it's set to be one of the most opulent weddings ever. England footballer Wayne Rooney and his fiancée Colleen McLaughlin will tie the knot this week in what's been dubbed the Wag Wedding of the Year. And the paparazzi, as you can imagine, have gone into overdrive snaps of the couple's every move appearing in many publications. Why the fascination? We're going to be discussing that in just a moment. First, here's a look at what's in store if speculation is to be believed. Go into the chapel and we're... The nuptials will take place in an exclusive 16th century villa at the elegant resort of Santa Margherita on the Italian Riviera. The 60-plus guests won't have to worry about being crammed onto budget airlines to attend the bash. They'll be flown from the UK in private jets for the four-day celebration. After the ceremony, the attendees will be treated to a gig from Irish boy band Westlife, a masked ball, a firework display and a 24-hour party on a yacht. And the cost? It's estimated to be a whopping £5 million, but half of that will be met by the celebrity magazine OK. They have bought the exclusive rights to cover the celebration for £2.5 million. Oh, that's a two and a half million quid just for the story. Amazing. <laughs> With us, the celebrity and society wedding planner, Mark Nimirko, and Tony Jones, associate fashion editor of The Sun. Good morning to you both. Hello. Since you're a newspaper person, I can ask you this. Yeah. How on earth will OK Magazine never get two and a half million quid back? Well, in the sales, they're going to sell millions and millions really? of copies. They get, yeah, they, seriously. they get money back. Yeah, people, that's, there why, that's that why they interest. do it. There's so much interest. I mean, obviously, we're talking about it already. Mm. It's been in all the papers this week. The build-up has been... There's always a kind of rivalry between OK and Hello magazine. Yeah. And so uh, the bidding warmers have just been amazing. So whoever gets that wedding is guaranteed millions of sales. And the public love romance. They love listening to a romance story and following a story and following it all the way through, mm. through, through to the sales of the magazines, really. Mark, if you had had a call from Wayne and Colleen saying, yes. I need you to organise our wedding, we've got about £5 million to spend. What would you spend it on? Well, sev well it, we were talking about this earlier. Um, it's quite... It can really total up the budgets <coughs> of a wedding, you know, from private jets through to um, food and beverage, bands, you, you know, you wouldn't just book one band, you know, there's Westlife, but there's also talk about Colleen and Wayne having several other artists as well, you know, so different musicians, stationery, the dress, um, yeah, and also... £200,000 on the dress, allegedly, so that's a lot of money to spend on the dress. Some people would it? argue £5 million isn't a... £1 million is a pretty obscene amount to spend on a wedding, £5 million is... It's, it is ridiculous, but it's all relative. How much does he get paid a week? Over £100,000 yeah. a week. So to him, it's not a lot of money. I think that's why there is this massive fascination, because especially with Colleen, she's the ultimate wag. She's a working-class girl, done well. Now she's got all the money in the world to spend, so that's why we're so interested. If you could spend as much as you wanted on an outfit, what outfit would you pick? Where would you have the wedding? And there's also the element of keeping up the James as well, from the society couples and the celebrity couples that we marry to also the normal, if you like, normal couples that are biz business people, bankers, Entrepreneurs, they're still also competing with all of our friends that got married um, a year or so ago before them or whatever else, and they're, they're wanting to beat their expectations of what everyone else is expecting. Is it, is it really got, is it competition? I think it's no. not a competition to a point. That's I think sad. It, it, I think people, I think it has been celebrity led now, however, you know, through Hag OK and Hello Magazine, people read that, people aspire to that, and I think, you know. So, yeah, so David and Victoria it. had the throne, I think course, the ten. Didn't they? Over the last 10 years, it's really been led since the Beckham's wedding, yeah. without doubt, really. Mm. This is a big, big week for people like yourself because it's a big mm. story. Yeah, and you massive. must. Uh, what's the sun? How is the sun covering it? Well, already. Got somebody hidden in the done, wedding cake? or? Well, probably trying. <laughs> we've done the hen party, we've done the stag party. Yeah. Today, we've got a feature on her trainer because she's looking amazing. She's been working out to. We, we, know, we think we know it's a strapless dress because she's been working out, especially on her arms. So, we're already doing that. And then afterwards, it'll be where are they going on the honeymoon? Nobody knows yet. What, what's she going to be wearing for the honeymoon? So, yeah, so everybody, you, we're so interested in everything. You've it's, got scuba diving photographers at the ready. I think they might be sending me out there in a wetsuit, but you never know. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying that go. people who read your bet, and they have more than 3 million read the yeah. sun and they really really want to know every last detail we of want Wayne to know everything yep. we've grown up with colleen we've seen her go from well the whole country has from a kind of chubby 14 year old schoolgirl into a very confident stylish young woman now yeah. and i so i think people feel and also she's still quite normal you see her out with her friends when she's photographed she's smiling not like posh you know you'll never see her smile but you'll see colleen having a laugh for the hem party she went out and she had a good time with her friends so i think people kind of relate to that a lot more mark when you're spending five million pounds how picky can you get what's the worst 
worst thing or the, the most difficult thing you've been asked to provide as a wedding planner? Um, there's several different things. I think the thing that really amazes me is the extravagance sometimes and the lengths that people want to go. I had one bride that wanted an absolute exclusive dress that nobody else would ever have a chance of ever having. And she didn't want it in the UK, didn't want it, so we had to go to Paris Fashion Week and have a private collection and, you know, and, uh, with the designer and have an uh, amazing dress made for her. Um, there's, there's so many extremes that a couple will go to, you know, from spending ridiculous amounts on fireworks to, um, you know, their bridesmaids spoiling them with absolutely amazing outfits and shoes and hair and makeup and getting really good makeup artists that celebrities use, you know, uh, from every day to mm. couples, really. Okay. So, yeah. Good. You know what? After having talked about it, I almost want to go. You've been invited, Bill. You haven't had Funny your invite yet. No, not yet. Maybe you're in the post. Waiting. I'm waiting. Me too. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But I'm, <laughs> I'm, busy, so. I'm busy. We'll be on that chat. <laughs> you got better off. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's right. I'm staying in watching the telly. But I would have gone. Had I been invited, I would have gone. <laughs> Stay with us because we're going to be talking to the actor Rory Kinnear shortly. Yes, he's going to be revealing what it's like to be the man behind the Iron Lady because he's playing Dennis Thatcher in a new BBC drama. That's in just a moment. First is a last quick look at what's happening where you are.